First of all, he was born in Norwich, Connecticut in January of 1741. He grew up in a family that was prospering. He was the fifth Benedict of the line. His father, Benedict IV, had started life uh, uh, as as basically a barrel maker, as as a cooper, but had worked his way out of that and had become a successful trading merchant, trading into the West Indies. And so the family was prospering in Norwich during the 1740s. And then something happened, something went wrong. In the early 1750s, a disease, an epidemic, swept over New England and swept over the Norwich community. From what we can tell today from the descriptions, it was a diphtheria epidemic. And that's a kind of a disease where your, your throat will get clogged up. It's almost like a scale grows in your throat, and you will suffocate, ultimately, if that scaling is not broken in some way. Well, what happened? This disease hit the Arnold family. Two of his sisters died. His father almost died. Arnold was away at school at this particular time, and his mother was writing him letters, be prepared at any time. The Lord might decide to strike you down. She was a hard Calvinist in her thinking. Uh, The Lord is arbitrary. He has taken your sisters. He almost took your father, and he'll take you if he wants to. And the point about this story is that, and it's not the only one I can point to, but it's the, the point about it is, is that Arnold learned very early in life about arbitrary power. In this case, it was the way his mother presented the Lord to him. It was the loss of his sisters, the almost losing his father. And then something happened because his father begins to develop, after this tragedy, a drinking problem. And so by the late 1750s, he's losing his business, he's losing his way. He's become a confirmed, I guess what we call alcoholic. Uh, and ultimately, he will, his father will die of chronic alcoholism. And it's a very, very sad story because this once pos- prosperous family begins to lose its way. And what Arnold sees is more arbitrary power in the community because when his father developed that problem, the drinking problem, There was talk in the community that he should be thrown out of the church that they belonged to, what we would today call excommunication. Now what happened in that case, the pastor in the community actually saved the father and he backed off those who said, this man is an embarrassment to the community. He said, let's just let well enough alone, let everything work out as it does. So the Arnolds were not thrown out of the church, but at the same time, they were subject to what almost appeared like arbitrary authority. Remember that, because it's going to play into the theme of the revolution, because what do the Americans argue about the British? That they are being subjected to, what else? Arbitrary authority, tyranny on the part of Parliament, and then King George III. That's part of the story.